Well, let's use Autodoc tree. To use Autodoc tree in macOS, we'll first need a APDB for our receptor molecule, and then uh, we'll create our small ligand in at the Pro DRG web page. At that web page, we can draw, actually draw a small ligand, and then get the uh, structural files corresponding to Autodoc the PDB Q files. So let's draw at a uh, Java editor our phosphate molecule. First at the center a phosphate atom and then uh, four respective oxygens. We can leave uh, unsatisfied charges but then we can complete the bonds. There, there is a nice phosphate molecule. So that we transfer this draw into the web page and there it is. We can so we can ask for a full charges and energy minimization, and ProDRG server will run quite fast, giving us our phosphate molecule. It also gives us a lot of files that can be used for other. Uh, computational purposes, but we only need the autodoc file for version 3, the autodoc PDBQ, PDBQ file. That's right. So we can select this mm, text and copy it to any text editor and save it as the respective file. Let's see. Copy. Then let's open this text editor and paste. It. There it goes. Now I'll save it as in the same folder of that is my that contains my protein and I will save it as p, p dot uh, pdbq. So this is not the pdbq ts that Autodoc 4 uses. No the pdbq but the pdbq that Autodoc 3 uses. Now in X11 I'll I'll move to the desktop folder that contains my protein and my small molecule. There they are. Now I launch uh, Autodoc tools, the visual environment to prepare the files. You can do it by Python scripts, but I usually prefer the visual way. There it is. Now let's open first our protein molecule, the APDB. That's right. We'll have to process it to add uh, the hydrogens and the charges. So let's do first uh, the hydrogens. We'll add all the hydrogens that these atoms should contain. There they are. And then we'll check the Coleman charges. Okay, it seems that it assigned a correct charge. Let's check total residues. They are correct. Okay, now will merge uh, whole hyd all hydrogens to leave only the hydrogens that are capable of making hydrogen bonds. Okay, next we'll open our ligand, the phosphate molecule. You notice they use that they use the AD3 menus. Now I'll well I don't have to really assign rotatable and rotable bonds since no rotation will change the geometry of the phosphate, but I'll save uh, this file again as a phosphate dot out dot pdbq which now is in the correct format for use with autodoc tree uh, now I'll choose the macromolecule the A for the grid this adds charges and solvatation parameters so I save, I save this molecule as A pdbqs okay next the small molecule there okay again AD3 menu I select the phosphate the atoms are correct now I'll have to create the grid in which the docking will take place there it goes S grid box I'll make it large enough to contain most of the protein or or if I can all of the protein so the phosphate can explore the wall surface and cavities of the protein as you can see it's a grid of 126 by 126 by 126 you can see that it covers almost off all the molecule uh, of the protein molecule and uh, I think it's okay so I'll save it 
there it goes. Now I'll save the ah, okay the other options for AG3 floating map okay, and then I save this parameter file as a, a GPF. So I'll name it phosphate.gpf and there it goes. Now the docking part. Again, I'll choose the macromolecule with the AD3 menu. It's A, that's correct. Okay, next the small ligand. I choose choose AD3 phosphate. Okay, uh, the floating map exists as I previously selected. And then the search parameters. This I choose usually genetic algorithm and put uh, 100 results, 300 population site, 2.5 million energy evaluations and other parameters taken from the literature. You can look at them uh, in through the NCBI or other reference manager. So uh, in docking run options I select uh, the calculation of uh, internal electrostatic energy and then I can and can save this as a Lamarckian GA <coughs> phosphate.dpf. Okay, so we're ready to run the uh, actual docking. Let's close AD team. There it goes, and type at the terminal. There are the new files, and we can type uh, autogrid3 slash uh, line uh, slash p the phosphate GPF, okay. L dash L phosphate GLG ampersand ampersand, and then I write also the auto tree command slash p phosphate DPF in this case, and then slash L phosphate DLG. So this will process first the auto grid commands, and when this is this one's finished, it will process the autodoc tree command. So that's mostly it. Now what's left is only to press enter. Oh yeah, and then press at the end and then type in enter. There it goes. We can check the run by typing uh, tail oh okay. wait we can check in top that it is running. It's using one 99% of the CPU, then we can use tail uh, slash f phosphate GLG and we can see the actual run in real time. Okay, it will take about four minutes and later it will continue with the docking. So that's it.